I'm s and and today I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial video. Um, Sayana is supposed to be posting her hair tutorial, but I don't know if she's doing it, but I'm going to be doing my hair tutorial. So, you know, I gotta set it up, my camera up, and let's, yeah, I'll tell you when I'm ready. So, yep. So, I'm about to show you the things that you will need that I think you will need. I'm probably going to need it to get other things during the video. But I'm about to show you the things that you may need. So, to do this, you're going to be needing some coconut oil gel. It doesn't have to be coconut oil. I just use coconut oil. A brush that looks kind of like this. A brush like this. A detangler comb, but you might not need this. I just use it. And conditioner and... Shampoo. I use whole blends, Garnier whole blends, because it's good for your hair. And because I dyed it, I have to keep mine like under control. So yes, you're going to also be needing hair ties. But yeah, those are in my hair. So yeah. <laughs> Hi guys. So I just messed up my tripod. <laughs> so um. That's even worse, okay. There we go. So I'm gonna start with washing my hair, first of all. And then I'm going to be combing it out. That's gonna be a disaster. The type of hair I have, when I comb out my hair, it only lasts for like 10 minutes and then it gets nappy again. I combed out yesterday, it's going to be a mess. So, <laughs> let's get on with the video. So, um, I just took my hair out of the ponytail. It's wild. Oh, that hurt, kind of. Okay. Just curl back here. Okay, <laughs> my hair is a mess. But let's get on with the washing part of the video. So, got my towel, because you're going to need one of those. Okay, I'm about to wet my hair. And, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm about to wet my hair. So I wet my hair and it's dripping currently. And um, I'm about to wash it right now. So um, I'm using the whole blends shampoo, no promo. They made a noise. Um, yep. Yeah. Okay washing I'm going to be starting with the back of my hair and working my way to the ends yes Just going to wash my hair. Wash, 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 wash. I have soap all over my hands. Wash, wash. So I just rinsed out all of the shampoo out of my hair. And oh, now we're going to condition and rinse the conditioner out. So taking it out of. Okay. Okay. My hair is extremely nappy right now, as you can tell. Uh, we're going to grab our whole lens conditioner. I almost dropped it. I'm just making a mess now. Who can't cut it? Won't come out. Dang it. <laughs> it came out. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to be starting with the roots of my hair and working my way to the end. So. But 
too much in right here. There's a big, big, big blob of conditioner right Now that it is almost completely distributed, evenly distributed all over my hair, I'm going to rinse it out. And yes. So I just washed out my conditioner, or rinsed out, whatever. And my hair is extremely soft. Okay, um, and I'm about to comb it out. Uh, first, I'm going to, where's my detangler brush? Oh, it's on. That's amazing. I'm going to get the hair out of my detangler brush. Okay, um, I'm going to be starting with the detangler. It was in my face. Okay, um, for this part, this is like the hardest part. Um, y'all. Um, I'm going to start with a small part of my weave. Okay, and then I'm going to start at the ends. It will work and basically just do this. Yep. This is detangler. This is a great detangler. I got it from Charming Charlie's. Um, no promo. And I have no idea. I think it's Charming Charlie's brand. But this is an amazing detangler brush. See? Two seconds. Two seconds to do this. It's fantastic. So, um, basically we are just going to continue with the combing out of the hair. So, I'm about to go over the detangled part with this brush. So, this won't take long. The back goes still nappy. Here are my beautiful curls. My hair is much curlier when it's dry than it is when it's wet. So now I'm going to run my fingers through it to bring the curls back. Do, 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 do. And I actually did forget a utensil that you're, well, it's optional, but I use it. Um, a hair dryer, so I'm just going to go get that. So I have my blow dryer, um, I have my blow dryer and I'm about to blow dry my hair, but while I'm doing it, I'm also going to be using this brush because if you have hair like mine, you know, right when your hair gets dry, it's going to either frizz up or get nappy again. So I'm going to use this. It will be frizzy, but it's okay. So I'm gonna run through it one more time before I start blow drying. And then we can go ahead and get blow drying. Okay, all good. So it's about to get loud. And you couldn't hear me, but I said something. Um, I'm going to be combing it out from the inside of my hair like this and blow drying on the outside. So I'll get back to you when my hair is done. So my hair is not dry. I've been doing this for like 10 minutes and it's still not dry. And I'm afraid of damaging my hair, so I'm going to be adding heat protectant. Now I probably should have done that before, but it's okay. And I'm going, I'm going to spray some in my hand and then I'm going to spray up my hair. So, I'm just going to put this in my hair so that, um, ow, I just scratch myself. Dang it! Okay, um, I'm just going to be putting this in my hair so that my hair doesn't get, what's the word, dried out. Not one word, but you know. I was looking for a different word, but this is the only word I could words I can think of. So I went oh, and use that word. Okay, so heat protectant's in, and now I'm going to be putting 
I'm going to start blow drying again. So I blow dry my hair. It's almost completely dried, but I'm afraid it's going to get bigger because it has been getting bigger by like every time I blow dry it. So I'm just going to run my brush through it. He is the devil. I mean, like, the devil's the devil, but he is also the devil. Ow, that hurt. Okay. Okay, so now, now that my hair, I need to scrub my hair down. Okay, um, now that my hair is almost completely dry, and that can be completely dry, it just has to be dryish. Now that it is almost completely dry, you can leave your hair either like this, or you can put it up in the ponytail, which is basically what I'm about to show you how to do. So you can stop the video now and enjoy your little fluff. Or you can continue and I can show you how to put it into a fluff on the top of your head. So yes, um, first step into doing your fluff, you're going to need this brush or a brush similar to this. And um, I'm going to start at, I'm going to get a little closer and I'm going to sit on the floor. Okay, um, okay, this is extremely uncomfortable. You're going to just comb, brush it back. Don't worry, we will be adding product into it. This is just to start off like this. Get the back of your hair. See that? That's frizzy. Okay. Make sure you get all of it. And this is like so bad. It's like terrible. So I'm done. Which is like, okay, so I look like a cone head. But, you know, next we are going to be putting some lotion or um, conditioner. I scratched myself again. I'm pretty sure this is leave-in. I don't care. You can use leave-in conditioner. I don't really care about the leave-in conditioner. But this is good for your hair. So I'm going to be adding some more conditioner onto the back of my head like this so now that your hair is all healthy now we're going to be using some coconut oil gel coconut oil gel and do, 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 do. I'm applying it all around the back, the sides, the front, the everything. Almost done. And then we're going to just pull it up into your ponytail. on the top of your head. Okay, you're going to grab your brush again and you're just going to clean up the sides of your ponytail like this. Okay, then you're going to take a hair tie or a rinse or whatever you use and on the very top, on the ground, on the top of your hair, 
right about here. You're going to just wrap it around. How many times you can get it around? I usually do mine like two or three times because my hair is really thick and it doesn't need that many times. But some people don't, some people do. It just depends on you. I'm about to try another one. I'm doing four this time though. Okay. Pull. Now this is the difficult part. Shape. You can either do just a poof on the top of your head, or you can go like on the side, or it just depends on what you want. Here comes the blow dryer again. Then if your hair is damp or whatever, you can blow dry it. You can blow dry it and it will basically this is how you shape it. If your hair is still damp, this is perfect, or you can dampen it a little bit more. <sighs> Breathe but you can blow dry it to help you get the shape. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video combined with my other video. I'm pretty sure you think that this is a beauty channel, but it is not a beauty channel. This is just what we do, um, how we're starting it off. So, yep, um, here is the end product. Hope you guys enjoyed our hair tutorial. My ponytail is going flat, but this is going to get on my nerves. Um, hope you enjoyed. Hashtag. Team Elia, and make sure you decide if you want to be hashtag Team Elia or hashtag Team Sayana. Of course, I'm hashtag Team Elia. Okay. Anyway, subscribe, thumbs up, comment down below, check the description, like our socials, and all that good stuff. And hope you enjoy. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.